Okay, hi, I'm Joni, and I'm going to be demonstrating the scrambled tofu, and that's on page 18. And the sc scrambled tofu basically is taking the place of your scrambled eggs. And a lot of people say, yes, this does taste like scrambled egg, and some people have been fooled. So it is a real good dish. Um, there's a lot that you can do with the scrambled tofu, a lot of things you can add to it. Tonight we'll be adding some red and green bell pepper and a little bit of parsley. But as you work with the tofu and experiment with it, you'll find there are a lot of things that you can do and add and a lot of different recipes that you can use tofu in. It is a real bland um, type of food. So whatever you put to it, it's going to basically taste like that. Whatever you season it with, it's going to take on that flavor. And you can do a lot of neat things with the tofu. It's, it's a real concentrated food, though, so it's not something you're going to want to have in your diet every day. Twice a week, maybe three times a week is fine, but it is real concentrated, so you don't want to have it every, every day. And um, with the tofu, they take the soybean and they remove, they take the water, and this is the water of the soybean. So there is no fiber in your tofu. It is real high in protein. It has vitamins and calcium, and it's not real high in fat. So it is a good dish if you're looking for that protein especially, which a lot of people worry about. But on this diet, it's, it's not necessary. You're getting, eating your nuts, your tofus, your soy milks have the protein in them. So we'll start out with our tofu in the pan. We've oiled the bottom of the pan just a little bit with some olive oil. Okay, it's really not necessary. We didn't want it to stick up here tonight. So we put a little bit of oil on the bottom. And you want to put it on about a medium or so on the stove. Okay, and, and stir it a little bit. Um, this is the tofu that we're using this evening. It's Tree of Life organic tofu, and it's the firm style. Okay, you're going to find tofus in the store that are, are soft, are like medium soft, and they're, they can be watery and kind of mushy. mushy. The firm style is real the best to work with in, in any of your recipes. Okay, and with tofu, it can stay in the refrigerator for several days as long as you change the water. If you don't change the water, it's going to go bad on you. And it also can be frozen if you need to freeze it. Works fine in the freezer if you're going to have it for a long period of time. Just remember to change your water on the tofu and it lasts in the refrigerator for several days. See, what you'd want to do is open the package up, put it in a Tupperware container, cover it with water, and then change the water every couple days. So take it out of this container. And if you do freeze it, if you want to get more like a meaty texture, that's what freezing does to this. It does change the texture of this, so it's not going to be as soft. It's going to be more like a meaty texture. So if you're making uh, Italian sauces or anything and you want kind of a hamburger type texture, freeze it, and then you can crumble up or grate it. Okay? Okay, we're going to start out with our just plain onion powder. We've got onion powder, and it calls for one teaspoon of onion powder. So we'll just sprinkle that in. And then some garlic powder. The garlic powder is not in your recipe book, as you'll notice. So that depends on your taste. If you like the taste of garlic, which we, we love, you can add some garlic to this. So we're going to add maybe half a teaspoon or so of your garlic powder. And then you're to give it the yellow color like the eggs. You don't want to eat this looking white. It's not as eye appealing. So we'll give it a little bit of a yellow color with the turmeric or the saffron, okay? We're using the turmeric here. This really doesn't give it any type of flavor or any taste. It's just basically for the coloring. So about an eighth teaspoon of your turmeric or your saffron. You may need to work with that, add a little more, a little less, depending on how yellow you like your eggs, okay? <laughs> and then we have the Abco chicken seasoning. And this is a chicken seasoning that does not have any MSG or any meat type of products or anything like that. So you want to try out your, there's a beef seasonings, chicken seasonings, different kind of seasonings you can get for your foods. It's great in broths for soups or gravies. Stir fries. Um, and stir fries, it's real good. Okay, so we have our Abco chicken seasoning and one and a half teaspoon of that. A little more. And it will, even with a little bit of oil in the pan, it sticks a little bit, but it, then as it cooks, the, the sticking usually stops, and it comes right off the bottom. Now, this is also good with some green onions or some olives, good wrapped up in a tortilla, um, served with beans or whatever. It's just a real good dish. 
And if you're in a hurry, and maybe you can make it um, the night before, have it in the refrigerator and heat it in the morning. It's a pretty fast recipe, though, yeah, to make. It is pretty fast. Um, and the Bragg's amino acids. These, this is made out of different types of amino acids, soybeans, um, all kinds of aminos, and there is no, it's not been fermented like your soy sauces have been fermented. There's no vinegar added in the store, so it's going to be more healthy for you. You're going to get your amino acid proteins. So it is a real good product to use in place of your soy sauce. That's the Bragg's amino acid, Bragg's aminos. And a lot of your soy sauces will have salt added to it. This is naturally salty from the soybeans themselves. And I, that was a couple of tablespoons of the Bragg's. Just squirted that in and then stir it up. You know, I want to tell you a story. We had this one holiday at our house. We had all our family over. And my grandmother, who they eat totally different than we do, so it was a real challenge to have all our family over and, and fix all our breakfast foods for them. But she thought I was actually making scrambled eggs. And she ate them and thought they were scrambled eggs. Now, I don't know if you can fool everybody like that, but she thought she was eating. She's, boy, these eggs sure are good. You know, and then I had to tell her it was tofu. So, and here we've already sauteed our red and green bell pepper and a little bit of parsley. Sauteed it in a little bit of olive oil. If you choose not to use any oil, you can just saute them in a little bit of water. Okay? So we'll add that for some color and a little bit of taste. It's not necessary to add that. You can just have your scrambled tofu like it is here in the pan. But it looks, it looks attractive and it looks nice. It gives it a little more spicy flavor. Okay. Yeah, it does look nice. Okay, um, on the tofu, are there any questions or on the tofu scramble? Anything? <laughs> You'll be making it for breakfast, right? <laughs> Do you have the recipe for the um, chicken like seasoning in your book? Or can you recommend another book that might have it in it in case for we can't a recipe find for it? For chicken-like seasoning? Right, in case we can't find it at a health food store. They will carry it here. They will be carrying it here at the health food store. Down there. Okay. Downstairs. So, mm -hmm. okay. Thank you. Okay. Anything else? Is that going to be in your way? Um, no, that should be fine. Okay, now you want to turn to page 20, and we're going to do a smoothie. Mmm, these are my favorites. 